Hello everybody, and in this video we shall be reviewing Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, the new book by J.K. Rowling, Jack Thorne, and John Tiffany. Maybe it's, um, it's actually probably Jack Thorne, eh? Okay, so basically, this all goes around time travel and time turners, but before I get into that, I'm going to talk about the things I didn't like, and then I'll go with the things I loved. So, but overall, I loved the book. It was great. It was the first Harry Potter book that I actually read. I don't know why I haven't read the other ones, but I just didn't. And I have actually the Sorcerer's Stone. I, I was just way too lazy to read, not read it. Okay, so, yeah. How can I put this? It starts off with basically um, Albus, Harry's son, Albus Severus Potter. Why can't I remember this? Albus Severus Potter and Scorpio Malfoy. They become friends because, well, Albus gets put into Slytherin. He's, that's a big shock to a lot of people. Bit not that big of a shock to most people. I thought he was going to get put in Gryffindor, but I was like, okay, yeah, Slytherin, it makes some sense. So... Yeah, him, him and his dad don't get along very well because his dad d hates Malfoy, but Scorpius, I mean, not Scorpius, Albus loves Scorpius. By the way, they honestly seem gay. It's, <laughs> I'll talk about that a bit later. But then I'm going to get into the whole um, time travel stuff now. This is, a, this is like the big spoiler alert, guys. Okay, so... Mm. Basically, the whole time travel thing goes with them trying to save Cedric because Amos, Amos Diggory or Amos Diggory wanted them to go and save him. And they're like, okay, we'll do it. My dad was heroic. Malfoy, okay, actually, he wasn't very heroic. He just kind of was with Voldemort. But they both wanted to be heroic, so they did that. It didn't work out very well because it ended up Harry dying and Voldemort becoming, like, the king of the land, basically. And, yeah, so, Scorpius then had to go talk to Snape, and Snape was like, okay, I'll put you back in time, and then he does that, and then, like, Harry's back. But, Delphi comes with them, too. Delphi ends up being, ends up, you end up finding out that Delphine, Diggory is not actually a Diggory. She'd more be a Riddle or a Lestrange. Because Voldemort and Lestrange, um, why can't I remember her name? They had a baby. And her name was Delphine. And, well, she decided, well, Voldemort died, obviously. And then, by the way, um, after, like, Voldemort, I don't know when they had a kid, but, like, she never saw him. Never. So, like, I don't know when they had a kid. Maybe Lestrange was just hiding it from Voldemort. I don't know. Like, uh. Okay, so then she tries to actually go back in time to when Harry was a little baby. I thought, honestly, that she was trying to kill Harry as a baby so then her father, Voldemort, could be with her again and they could, like, talk and stuff. That wasn't the case. She just wanted to talk to Voldemort for one time, I guess. Which I was like, okay. And then... There was this blanket earlier that Harry had given him. I didn't touch on it very much because it wasn't very important in the beginning. But it became so important near the end because he wrote something on it. Oh, yeah, okay. So, like, he took the blanket from when he was a little kid, wrote, like, help like, go back in time, whatever, something like that. So then Harry and... Harry, Ginny, Malfoy, Ron, and Hermione, they all went back in time, and they used a Polyjuice Potion on Harry. So then Harry would be Voldemort. Well, he looked like Voldemort and talked like Voldemort. So he just... He was talking with Delphine, and he was trying to act like Voldemort and all that stuff. Uh, I still want you guys to read this, so I'm not going to say everything. And then Jansip's, like seeing that like his face is like becoming more like Harry's his hair more like Harry's everything is more like Harry's 
So then she does some sort of spell, I don't remember. And then they get into a fight. Albus comes in, because, well, he didn't have a wand, because she snapped it. She also snapped Scorpius earlier. Their wands, she snapped them. <laughs> and then, yeah, they ended up beating Delphi, like, after everyone came in. Like, they broke down the door, because Delphi had, like, I don't remember the name of most of the spells, but... She locked the doors with some spell. I don't remember the name of the spell exactly. But yeah, she did that. And then... Um... Why can't I remember this? Oh yeah. And then, this is the part that they did. So then, Scorpius and Al Alvis and Scorpius wouldn't be gay. They basically forced them to talk about women. Like... No one in the book, but, like, the writers, uh, J.K. Rowling, John Tiffany, and Jack Thorne, they made them basically talk about it. They're like, yeah, you like this girl, and he's like, well, yeah, you like this other girl. Okay. That's what, basically, it just felt so forced. But, overall, it was a great book. It was really expensive, actually. It was $30. Yeah. It's a little expensive, but, um... Yeah, you guys should go and get it and read it. It's a very easy read because it's a script, as you can see. And it's really easy. Um, I'll see you all later.